I'll do a quick rundown on the review sheet for you guys that are interested. Uh, the first thing, just rewriting an, an exponential form, you're going to break a spiral. 144 to the 1 half equals 12, that's number one, that's B. 125 to the 1 third equals 5, that one's B. We have 8 squared equals 64, which is B. And then 17 squared equals 289, which is A. And then going the other way, you know, 7 is the base, so we have 7 to the third equals 43, and then that would be choice B right here. Base is 6, so look for a base of 6. We can get rid of those two. And we go 6 to the third is 216, so 6 is B. Need a base of 6, so we get rid of this one, this one, and this one, and sure enough, 6 to the negative 2 is 1 over 36. And then we need a base of 49, so we get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one. 49 to the 1 half equals 7, which is what we needed. Alright, now it's a matter of solving a few of these. So these are the problems where we have to isolate the exponential and then do uh, your, your log work. So here we'd end up with log base 17, 22 equals x. And then use your change of base, log of 22 over log of 17 equals x. So log of 22 over log of 17 is about 1.09. So that's a terrible x. So x is about 1.09. Here we got to add 9 first. So then we end up with 16 to the n equals 61. Now use your log. Log base 16 of 61 equals n. And then use your change of base. So log of 61 over log of 16 equals n. So n is about 1.48. Here we have to subtract 8 from both sides. We end up with 4 to the n equals 82. So log base 4 of 82 equals n. And here we go again, change of base. Log of 82 <coughs> over log of 4 equals n. So n is approximately, let's go to the calculator, 3.18. So I round to two decimal places. Here I need to divide first by negative 2. So we have 8 to the n minus 6 equals negative 95 over 3. 31.67. Right, again, that's negative 3 times, so make sure you divide by negative 3. Now we've got the I, uh, exponential isolated, which means we go ahead and take the log. So log base 8, 31.67 equals n minus 6. So this is one where we did a little bit of work. We took the log, did a change of base, 31.67 over log of 8 equals n minus 6. We have 1.66 equals n minus 6. And we have one more step. We're going to add 6 to both sides. We end up with n equals 7.66. So there's one where you had to do a little bit of work after taking the log. Similar here. Divide both sides by 8. So we have 11 to the n plus 3. And then 24 divided by 8 is 3. Now I've got the, ice, the exponent all by itself, or exponential. So it'll be log base 11 of 3 equals n plus 3. Sorry, that's n plus 3. Use your change of base. So log of 3 over log of 11 equals n plus 3. Log of 3 over log 11 is about 0.46. So n plus 3, so subtract 3 from both sides. 0.46 minus 3 and then that gives you n equals negative 2.54. Show how to rewrite the following using change of base. So I'm not even asking you to solve these. Just like we did above, um, just show that you can use change of base. So this will be log of 60 over log of 5. This will be log of 50 over log of 2. And this will be log of 31 over log of 2. No need to solve, just follow the instructions there. And then finally what we've been doing the last couple days, expanding and then making. So we're going to expand, which means we're going to turn one log into multiple logs. Here are some multiplications. So that means we're going to change this to log of A 
my five would be my five to the SF. The more trick we're going to be that far down here. So my final answer will I get A plus log B plus I log C. Here, go ahead and send that two all the way through. We end up with log seven squared over five to the tenth. And since we have division here, we turn the log seven squared minus log five to the tenth, and then bring your exponent to the front. So we have two log seven minus ten log five here. Take that six all the way through, so we end up with log eleven over six times three to the thirty six. And the multiplication turns into addition. Log of 11 to 6 plus log of 3 to the 36. And then again, bring those exponents back to the front. So our final answer is 6 log of 11 plus 36 log of 3. Here we have log of A plus log of B plus log of to the six. Take that exponent, bring it down. We have log of A <coughs> plus log of B plus log of C. Here, we put that five all the way through, so we have log x to the twenty-fifth times y to the fifth. Through 22, and then last one of these, and the division turns into subtraction. Bring your exponent to the front. So finally, the last section, we're going to put these back together. So let's work our way backwards. So step one, take those numbers up front, turn them back into exponents this time. Now we have addition, which will turn into multiplication inside parentheses. So we got one number up front, so we got to make that one change. Log of 8 plus log of 3 log of 7 squared. And so if I turn them into a single log, we have 8 times 3 times 7 squared. And you can leave it like that if you'd like. Step one is to get that number in the front, turn it back into an exponent. And then remember, subtraction here, I'm going to turn it into a single log, turns into division. X to the fourth minus log y to the third. And then here again, subtraction between logs turns into division in a single log. Move them back up. We have log 8 to the 3rd minus log 4 to the 3rd. Again, those subtractions will turn it into division. And since these are both of the 3rd, we can do this. We can pull that 2 out front. Actually, 8 over 4 is 2, so we can do oops, log of 2 raised to the third power. And then one last one. Turn those numbers in the front back into exponents. And then turn the subtraction into division. Those are going to be general misnumbers, so we're done.